Hey guys, it's the Atari 2300 fan here again. Today I'm giving you an updated room tour video. Um, the room has changed a little bit while I was gone. Not sure how much has changed, but some stuff has changed drastically. So I'm just gonna give you walk through all. So I'm just gonna give you a walk through of the room. Anyway, over here we have my NES games. All right, I have quite a few NES games. I think NES might be the game system that, that I have the most games for. A lot of these games I've never even played, because a lot of them are just weird, like, I don't know, just, you can take a look through these, I'll give a brief look through them, and as you can see, there are quite some odd titles in there, but anyway, moving on, we have Sega Master System games down here, we have one boxed Sega Master System game right here, we have GameCube games right here, and more GameCube games right down there, there's my 7800 games. Then right up here, we have my ColecoVision games, we have a Super Nintendo box, Mario is Missing, the Donkey Kong Bongos, there's a little Stay Puff guy, and then there's my Atari 2600 Junior. Anyway, right over here, we have a little Sega Genesis plug and play, which is really cool, because on the inside of it, there's a little memory chip where you can download some Sega Genesis games and actually put them in the here, so you can actually play them on the TV. So that's pretty cool, and it's made to look like Sonic's head, and it's motion censored too, it's kind of like the Wii. So anyway, down here we got some Mario figures. Then behind those we got little Mario mushrooms right here. Right there we got a little um, pinball game right there. There's my Atari flashback. The ultimate super stick, which is basically just a NES Advantage ripoff. My Merlin. Down here we got Wii games, over here we got some Xbox games, Xbox original games, and now in here, there, as you can see, it's not the greatest setup in here, as you can tell, a lot of stuff is stacked behind each other, and between each other, on top of each other, in front of each other, so it's not really the best display in here, but it was the best I was able to do. Then right here, we got all the systems, well not all the systems, but the systems that I have hooked up to the TV. Right here we have the NES, the Atari Flashback, Sega Dreamcast. This actually isn't plugged into the TV currently right now because right now the Wii is plugged in there. But anyway, right there is the PS2, the original Xbox, and the Wii. Anyway, that's that for that shelf. I should probably unplug this plug right here. Alright, anyway, moving on. Right here is the main shelf with all the main stuff on it. Top of it we got some PS1 and some PS2 games in here. Then we got a Tandy Coco joystick right here. Then we got Sega Genesis games right over here. And some of these are Sega 32X games. Then down here we have Dreamcast stuff. Then we have my Intellivision games right here. And we have some boxed Intellivision games up here. I'm going to try and get some boxes to put some of these boxes in. And anyway, down here we have PS2. More PS2 right down there. More PS2 there. And down here we got 5200 games with a Atari 5200 box up there. Down here we have some Game Boy Advanced. And we got two Game Boy Advanced box games right there. I couldn't find a place to fit this one right here. So right now it's just kind of laying like that. But anyway, right up there we got the Super Nintendo games. Get two shells of Super Nintendo games. And right here we actually got some Virtual Boy games. Yes, while I was gone, I actually did finally end up getting a Virtual Boy. I made a huge pickups video that was actually like almost an hour long with that I made. But however, it um got lost in my computer. And I think I might have deleted it on my camera. So that video is gone. But anyway, right here we have the... Virtual Boy games, and behind it we got some GameCon games. And, like I said, this isn't the greatest setup right here. Because, if you look back there, I have Virtual Boy games blocking one game system. And this game won't even fit up here, so I have to kind of keep it like that. But anyway, going down here, we got the Atari 2600 games. Yep. Atari 2600. And then over here, we got my system shelf. Right up there is one of the things I got, an Atari 2600 video game organizer. 
Um, the Vader did not come with it, but I did actually end up getting a Vader over the um, over the time I was gone. It did it's in pretty good condition? It works, and there are some duplicates up there. And anyway, right here we got the Tournament 2000 by Unisonic. Can't try and get a better view. And right there, the Tournament 2000 by Unisonic. The Atari Four Switch Woody. The Atari Light Sixer. Little Mario plushie. And right here are the handhelds, or some of the handhelds, most of them. We got the DSi XL, a GameCom, some ge some Sega Game Gear games. The Game Boy, the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Advanced, Game Boy Advanced SP, a little pinball electronic LCD game, Game Boy Color, and the Sega Game Gear. Anyway, right here we have the Sears version of the Intellivision, the Super Video Arcade. And next to that we got the Intellivoice. Then we had the Radio Shack TV scoreboard. It's a pretty cool Pong machine. Then right here we got the um, Sega Master System. This is a default system or a defective system. Um, this only has Hang On only, as you can see. It doesn't read the cartridges. It just plays the built-in game Hang On. And under that we got some strategy guides for modern games right here. Because I can't really find strategy guides for retro games. I mean, like they obviously don't make them anymore, but I can't find them in any old school game stores or flea markets or tag sales or anywhere so these are just all modern stuff anyway over here we got the PlayStation 1 the original PlayStation here is the Sega Genesis Model 2 a Sega CD and a Sega 32X on top of it Sega Saturn do the little Space Invaders arcade well little Space Invaders handheld right behind there Here's my PSP. Down there we got the TI-99, a little Wii rip or a little a Wii rip off called the Zone 40, the GameCube with the Game Boy Player, an Intellivision, a regular Intellivision right there, a PS1 Slim with a screen on top of it, a Tandy Coco 3. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this works. I'm pretty sure it does work, but I can't really figure out on how to hook it up. So it may work, it may not work, I'm not really all that sure. There's my Super Nintendo, and there's a little tape deck right there. The Sears Atari 2600 right there, that's the Sears Video Arcade Light Sixer. There's my Nintendo 64. Then going down here, we've got the Atari 5200 and the Atari 7800. So that's pretty much this entire shelf right here. Alright, that's what it looks like from the ground. Right here we got the arcade machine, my homemade arcade machine. Then right up there we got some Sega Genesis boxes. And there's my Virtual Boy right there. Anyway, over here we have the controllers. And we have controllers for everything. So, as you can see, I got them all separated into different boxes and into little bins. And down here we got some Atari 2600 game boxes the bottom shelf. Moving on over here we got a custom painted Nintendo with a custom painted Nintendo game, a little laptop eraser, um, Super Game Boy, the NES Advantage, my PS3 games, more PS3 games, um, DS games, and then some Nintendo 64 games. Yep, we got some up there, down there. Then right here is my PSP games. So there's some tapes right there. And there's some um, TI-99 games. And right down there is my ColecoVision. And then in this box right here, this box down here are just boxes that I really don't know what to do with. I might put some of the boxes that I really don't have room for in here, in like the room. So I'll just put them in there. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with that box, and I might end up doing it with this box as well. Anyway, down here, we got my casing, the outer shell for a 2600 Heavy Sixer, an Xbox original with custom, with a, um, skin on it, and a wood skin, so it sort of looks like an Atari right now, an Atari trackball. And there's all my video game books and magazines. And down here, all this is, is, um, 
where I keep all my plugs for all my systems. Like I got Atari, Sega, Nintendo, Sony, um, the AC adapters that don't fit in all the other boxes. Now right here we got plug and plays and some joysticks I don't have room for out here. And then down here we got my PlayStation 1 games in this little bin. And in here we just got some extra stuff. I think I have a couple extra game systems in here. Yep, there's an Atari 2600. Like, um, Atari 2600 4 Switch Woody in there. That's one of the things I got well, on my, well, I, while I was away. Excuse me. And down here, what do we have in here? And down in here we just got some other, some duplicates, Nintendos, Dreamcasts. 60, Nintendo 64s, and we got nothing in there, and there's just a bunch of wires. And that basically concludes it for the room tour. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe, and that's about it. Bye.